Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Florin. On this particular video, I want to show you guys how easy it is to replace the Samsung S6 Edge LCD. It might be difficult for a few beginners, technicians, but it's quite easy if you follow just some simple steps which are uh, crucial when you remove the back cover, the battery, and when you put it back and you seal it back in order to, to make it again waterproof. So there will be like a proper Samsung repair. Okay, the LCD which I received for this repair has been used already, but the LCD which I remove has a burn, which is like a discoloration to the actual LCD, which can't be repaired, to be honest. Might be in some Samsung uh, companies, they, they can refurb it somehow, but with all the tools we have and all the technology we have on my company, we can't do it. So the most important thing, what we do in this case, we just replace the LCD. And, and sometimes it's the best option as well so I'm gonna prepare the LCD, the new LCD which, which I'm gonna use for the repair as you can see I removed the old tape from under the battery because if you leave it there it will uh, create you a problem when you put back the back cover, the back gloss cover so this is a different repair, it's an S7 normal with, with non uh, chip problem which might be able to do another video about it but let's continue on the other one so if you if you <coughs> take off the tape it's better for your for your battery to, it will uh, fit proper but if you leave there any tape uh, any any thick tape it will it will push back through the bezel through the metal bezel back into the back glass and in time it will come off it will look really bad to be honest it won't look ne necessary professional so as you can see I've got some special cards they are not necessary special you can find it quite anywhere they are just plastic cards but they are a bit hard so even if you hit them with uh, like a hundred degree they, they, they don't bend so easy okay and for the next video I'm gonna put a short video in between this uh, repair video I will show you guys Different cards similar are found in a Forever 21 shop here in UK. Let's have a look. As you can see, these cards are quite similar. I found one with my wife. It's quite funny. One thing uh, went with her for shopping, and she just showed me these cards, which she knows I'm using all the time. Exactly similar. As you can see, Forever 21. Every single cloth you buy from them has, I, I think, at least three cards like these. At least three cards. So <laughs> definitely, I put her to buy more stuff from there, which is the cheapest one, like socks or stuff like that, just to get more cards. And I actually asked her lady in there if she has some spares or if she can help me with some, and she quite gave me a lot, as you can see here. So definitely, these are are very good. You see, they are really hard. They don't bend so easy. Very important when you remove the LCDs, battery back covers, just put a bit of spray, overheat the the board a bit, the LCD, they will work just fine. Because the special cards which I'm using at work at the moment, I can't buy them from China. So definitely, as an engineer, you every time have to have a back cover, like a, a backup for everything. If something stops, just find a different replacement. So I'm really happy with these cards. I use them every time. It might be in, in my next videos, you'll start seeing them because these are the last ones which I have. So, so as you can see, they are quite similar, nothing special with them. It's just they come in huge stocks from China, which I'm using. They come, like, I think, I don't know, might be 5,000 in a package. But from where we bought uh, before, they don't, they don't send it anymore. I don't know why. So, anyway, as an engineer, as I said, any time you have to find a replacement for everything you have in order to continue your work you know this back cover is not that important as you can see the back glass is already cracked but every time you use it as an experience that you can get more more advanced in your skills get more skills from it don't don't try just to rip it off because I've seen a lot of guys just doing that it's quite uh, it's quite disappointing to be honest so when you got the chance to repair like brand new model phones, don't waste the the products, you know. If you know how to think, if you know how to, to do it anyway proper, 
why just uh, don't try it to make it even even better every time you know Cause this is the job about to get more skills so definitely have to remove the sim tray the LCD is not going to come off because in the LCD it's the board attached as well so where's the sim tray definitely on the board it's not going to be out okay after we remove these screws they are quite, quite a lot I'll see you remove the screws. It's very important with six edge S six. Basically, quite all the models after six uh, S normal. If you want to remove the bezel off uh, from the LCD to take it apart proper, you need to heat the front LCD, but not more than ten seconds, because there's a special fine tape on the bezel attached, which it's easy to to remove if it's a bit hard. But if you overheat it too much, that's the trick. You'll take the paint from the LCD as well off because the tape is so strong. It, it has the, the property to, to stick. When it's hot, it has the property to stick to the actual LCD. So if you try to take it off and it's too hot, it's not going it's not gonna separate. So we'll take the paint off. I've got some few videos I think uh, which um, I think is an S7. Uh, you can check on my YouTube channel. I think it's S7. I, sh I can show you there, guys, that... Uh, I just left it more than a minute or two minutes because I didn't care about the LCD. It was already uh, already scrap LCD, so the paint was coming off quite easy, like really fast. So I'll leave it here for no more than 20 seconds, and just try to take apart from your with your fingernails, but not where is the. That's very important. Not where is the jackpot because there's a like a, you will see it's more like a. A hing into into the bezel, you know. So with the bezel removed, now it's very easy. All you need to do is just re uh, disconnect all the all the bits first. The first one, important one, is the battery. If you work off of the board with the battery connected, if the battery is charged as well, might be the phone on as well. You will damage something. If you put, let's think about it. You see, I'm working every time with the tweezer because I've got a lot of a lot of phones uh, ahead. Did it. So my experience allow me to to work. Uh, really quick with my twizzle, but a lot of guys might be will see and see. Oh, I will. I'll take a twizzle as well. And you sometimes you can scratch or you can touch only a, a filter or a capacitance there, and that's it. The board will create a lot of problems. So mm, this part definitely you don't have to buzz anymore. How you can turn up the phone? You take your twizzle. There are two pins over the board, actually on the board, two pads, two metal connectors. Just make a show there. It will, it will power up just fine what I'm doing now I'm just testing I want to test the LCD before I fit the LCD because I don't want to do the, the job sec a second time if the LCD has some problem or some issues what I'm most interested in is the quality of the LCD is the quality of the image that it shouldn't have burn, burn screens burn, burn uh, lines I will show you might be in different videos but a burn screen will show you a pink discoloration over the edges or might be just the top might be just the bottom or might be you will see actually on a white wallpaper you can see also the icons from the apps sometimes if it's quite that burn so what I'm, I'm looking into this uh, particular screen has no burns and the digitizer works proper it works perfect it has no jumping uh, points or something like that. if if the screen ha definitely has some jumping points don't don't even use it just send it back from where you bought it because it will give, give you a lot of problems a lot of headache the customer will keep coming oh this uh, screen doesn't work properly it keeps jumping and you do the test it doesn't jump but in his hands every time it doesn't work properly you know so just disconnect the battery is fine remove the LCD and now you have to prepare all the all the parts from the old LCD to remove and put into a new into the new uh, LCD I did two parts because the video is quite long I think it's more than 25 minutes so in the first part I'm going to show you how to remove all the parts, the back cover, the the board and the, in the second part I want to show you how to remove the battery. The battery is it's really important how you remove the battery because if you don't use uh, these cards and a bit spray and a bit of uh, heat when you pry into the battery between the battery and the LCD you can just uh, damage the LCD and uh, Maybe you don't want to damage it. Maybe you want to keep using with other other phones. Who knows? Maybe use it as a tester. 
who knows so in the second video as I said I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how to put back the battery proper they it won't uh, stay higher than normal and it won't uh, push back to uh, in the back cover okay that's one point and how to put back uh, the back cover so it, it will be waterproof again a lot of guys uh, quite ask me about waterproof uh, if you if you replace the LCD it's still waterproof yeah definitely it can be waterproof but the most important thing is just make sure you're doing the steps which I'm gonna show you exactly the same exactly the same if there's any gap air gap somewhere on the back cover definitely the water will come in because the water is it's like a molecule isn't it so it's really small it's really thin one one a drop of water is enough on your board it will create a corrosion which will damage the board it it depends where yeah. you're gonna the water is gonna gain so this part is quite boring everybody would be able to do it just remove the screws from the charging port make sure you don't um, damage your charging port it's easy to remove it if the phone has never been open it's better might be to put some heat uh, into your LCD so every everything will come off quite easy quite fast put back the charging port the screw make sure make sure another thing important make sure you put all the screws back where they were don't uh, mix them with Samsung is quite easy even if you mix them not not gonna create so much problems but if you if you build your skills uh, in this way if you keep this thing in your mind if you pass to iPhones if you mix screws in iPhones in iPhone models you you're not gonna have signal you're not gonna have Wi-Fi I've seen so many so I, I did so many repairs after other technicians who didn't uh, didn't put the screws back proper the customer just broke back the phone and I've got no signal how, what can I do? So I knew it. It was just three screws mixed. That's it. A short one, a long one, and a middle one. Just make, uh, put them proper. The signal came back. Let's see. So to remove the battery, I heated. Uh, I think uh, about a minute. You see uh, how easy it is to use these cards. These cards, they are not so hard that it will uh, prop uh, probably break your screen. You will just separate the tape. You will cut the tape off, and that's it. If you use metal to take off the battery, it might damage or might scratch the back LCD, which will uh, live with the lines on your LCD. And but in this case, uh, my LCD is still good, still useful. If someone wants to buy it or some something like that. But anyway, so as you can see, the LCD has been prepared. Oh yeah, make sure your front camera doesn't have uh, dust inside. After you sealed all the LCD, maybe you haven't done the test proper. It could create you a lot of problems, a lot of headache to reopen the, the LCD, to reopen the back cover just to clean the front camera. I don't know. So make sure there's nothing dust in there. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Let's see how to do the second part, which will be really easy and funny in the same time. Cheers.